It's the much anticipated Error 14 update video where we finally have some great news to share with you guys. And you can read it right there. We have 100% success recovering data from Error 14 if, if the phone is one of the eligible supported models and if, if you have not attempted to update using iTunes or 3U tools many, many, many times. And that's a big if, right? So let's dig in and let's talk about this. What are we looking at with iTunes Error 14 today? So first of all, if, you, if you're new to Error 14, go watch the first video that I made that explains how Error 14 is triggered and what it is. So in a nutshell, Error 14 is an iTunes update error that you get that comes from having your NAND chip, that's the hard drive of the phone, soldered onto the logic board. That chip wears down. Nobody really realizes that that's a wearable part. Every time you read and write to that thing, it wears it down a little bit. It has a shelf life that it gets to the end of. And the phone is terrible at recognizing when the NAND is just about too full. So what happens is the phone will try to update. And this is getting worse and worse because Apple has designed the phone to not even ask you to update anymore. It just does it automatically. And if the thing can't tell whether or not it has enough space to update and it tries to update anyway, that's how you trigger this phenomenon of error 14. The phone cannot complete the update. Now, at the molecular level, error 14 itself, it's not a one size fits all problem. Each combination of the CPU and its own NAND and their ability to talk to each other and the lack of that working triggers error 14. Each error 14 case is unique. So there is no one size fits all solution. All right, so now let's talk about what we can do and then we're gonna talk about what we can't do and what we recommend if you are affected by error 14. All right, so let's talk about what do I mean when I say we have 100% success rate with supported models? What supported models, what are we talking about? Here we go, the eligible devices. These are your older devices. And you can see the list right here. What these all have in common is their CPU. So the A7 processor, which is in the iPhone uh, 5S, 5C, the iPhone A8, processor, which is in the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, A9, A10. Those, that group of CPUs, those all share the fact that they have an exploit. Now an exploit means that there is a way without Apple's consent to interact with the CPU. And that is part one of any type of real, actual meaningful recovery from error 14. So let's call that the smart recovery style, right? The uh, investigative recovery. So any device that has one of those CPUs, A7, A8, A9, A10, that's the set from iPhone 5S, 5C, all the way up to iPhone 7. Those guys, those we can investigate and we get 100% recovery if you meet the other if, right? If you haven't tried to update, 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 update. You don't have many failures. All right, so those are the recovered ones. We're gonna talk about, uh, in a second, we're gonna talk about what if you have error 14 is not one of these guys. But if you do have one of these guys, it's important for you to not try to update it many, many times. Why? Because of a couple of reasons. Number one, because when you try to update, you cause uneven wear leveling of the NAND, and that can make the likelihood of recovery go down. In fact, the only cases that are one of these models that we have not been able to recover data from to date 
are ones that have had over 100 tries of updating and it never worked, right? Number, number two reason is if you try and try and try and try to update, you can damage the NAND so that the failure changes from error 14 storage too full to error nine or error 4013, which is a different type of NAND damage that is not recoverable. So you can damage the NAND by trying, 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 trying to update. And the number three reason why you, you wanna think twice about trying to update your NAND is that with iTunes and with 3U tools, with any one of these strategies of let's just try to update, let's just try to update, each time you instruct the device to update, you run the risk, even in a normal phone, that it will restore instead of update. I have seen this happen. I have seen it happen with iTunes. I have seen it happen with 3U tools. I have seen it happen with other proprietary stuff where sometimes you hit update and the device erases, it restores itself. So that is a risk, know that, that's a risk. Every time you ask the thing to update, you're running the risk that it's going to restore. And there is absolutely no way to get data from an iPhone if it has restored because it, it's like it, it erases the keys and there's no going back. All right, so your eligible devices, if you have one of these devices with error 14, it's very important for you to not attempt to update it many, many times. What should you do? You should hang tight and wait until we are ready to take your device in. So that's the next point. When is that going to be? What is that gonna look like, right? We will begin taking anybody with one of those devices that has error 14 that needs data recovery after July, 2021. Why is that? Because we are working on a research and development project with collaborators and it requires expertise. In, you know, these, are, these are gonna go lined up in a row and each one is unique, each one requires a person, each one requires a, uh, an, ex, an intense amount of labor in order to solve. So we are not taking in any cases in addition to the research and development set that we've already been working on. That will not be complete. There will be no more that we're gonna take until after July, 2021. So you can start filling out your requests. We'll start taking those in August. And I didn't wanna make this video for a while because you've gotta wait, right? Don't call us today if it is not yet July, 2021 asking, can I send you my phone? The answer is absolutely not. Don't call us asking, can we try to some kind of research on your iPhone 8? No, absolutely not. It is only, we can only support the devices that we can support. All right. Next, now let's talk about what if your phone is not one of those older models with the 100% success rate, what does it look like for you? So if you have an iPhone 8 or newer, your phone does not have a CPU that has an exploit. What is the chance that if you put it in a drawer with a passcode and you just wait that an exploit will be found, in which case your model then becomes one of the eligible devices that are supported. My personal viewpoint on that, I could, I have, it's, it's a crystal ball. I think it's really unlikely. It's unlikely that there will be an exploit discovered and here's why. Number one, it took years for the exploit that is available in the older models to be discovered and made public. The person that discovered that chose not to sell the exploit back to Apple for the standing bounty of a million dollars. So that would have to happen again in order for your device to become recoverable with this, with the sort of smart approach, the investigative approach. I think that's really unlikely. So I think that, you know, that that's, that you're, you're likely to be out of luck. So if that's the case, then does, it, it may not 
hurt you. It may become your best option. If you have a newer phone, to just say, well, I have no choice. I can either give up now, I can wait potentially forever, indefinitely, for an exploit to be found, which may never happen and probably will never happen. Or I can try the brute force approach. So you have seen, and the reason I'm making this video is because we're starting to see people talking about this brute force approach working. And it does work in a limited number of easy, straightforward, light cases of error 14. Now we have tried to all sorts of variables. Is there anything that we can do to increase the chance? Can I put the phone on a heat mat? Can I put it in the cold? To just increase the chances that one time your update will go through if you try it many, many times. And I, I have not found any variable that increases that pretty low chance of success. What I'm seeing is that folks out there like on track and drive savers have developed you know, some sort of a script to be able to ask the device to constantly update, ask the device to constantly update hundreds of times. And there's some of them that that's gonna work, right? The rest of them, there's, you know, they never had a chance to begin with, right? So you can try to do that on your own. There's no real benefit to you to sending that to anybody to sit there and try to update. You can update again and again and again using iTunes. And there are many reports of people claiming that it worked for them after they tried it 20, 30 times sometimes even 50 times. So that's a risk that is up to you to decide if you wanna take that risk or not with your newer phone. You have, if you have an older phone, you have a 100% uh, success method. The investigative smart people approach, just hang tight, it will work. But if you have a newer phone, then you have not really much choice. What I'd like to ask the repair community to do is to make, you know, somebody out there, I'd like to ask you to make a um, publicly available tool that would help users use iTunes or more likely 3U tools. So www.3U, number 3utools.com is the free Chinese software that all repair shops use that can do something like ask a phone to update. This, it does the exact same thing that iTunes does. There's no difference. Asking the phone to update using 3U tools, asking the phone to update using iTunes, they're exactly the same. But you can use 3U tools. You could automate that so that it would, it would you know, you could, you could just sit there yourself. You wouldn't have to pay uh, you wouldn't have to pay a third party a thousand dollars to sit there and see if your phone would pass an update if you asked it to do it enough times. So who wants to build that? Somebody out there, I'd like to ask you to build that for the people and the best place for you to put that would be on the new wiki, repair.wiki of the repair preservation group. So as you guys know, I joined the board of Repair Preservation Group along with Lewis Rossman and Justin Millman. And together with a community of talented folks, we're trying to build some projects that would help you, the individual or repair shop owner, be able to fix more stuff. And error 14 is a big one. So I would encourage all of you guys to head over to the Repair Wiki and I'm gonna post a link down in the description so you can get the right one. Have a conversation about error 14 in the Discord that goes with the Repair Wiki. And that would be a great place for folks that have some software design experience or have made tools for 3U tools before to make a tool that all of us can use if we choose to take the risk that updating the phone might erase it, which does happen, or just the idea that if we ask it to update many, many, many times, that if an exploit becomes available in the future for these newer model phones, 
that we may have damaged our NAND in a way that it will no longer be recoverable, right? So that's where we stand today with error 14. If you have one of the older models from iPhone 7 on down to iPhone 5S, anything in there, you have a 100% chance of successful recovery with error 14 with the investigative smart person approach. Send it in to us in July and we'll be able to get it recovered for you. As long as you don't attempt to update it a whole bunch of times. If you are not in that group, you're affected by error 14 on iPhone 8, 10, 10S, 10R, 10S Max, 11, 11 Pro, 12, all of those newer model phones with error 14. There is no investigative smart solution anywhere from any recovery company anywhere. Everyone will be trying to do the exact same thing that you can do on your own, which is the update many times strategy. And that does work for some percentage of those cases. You can do it yourself with iTunes. You can do it yourself with 3U tools. And hopefully somebody will make us a little tool so that anybody that would like to use the update many times approach can just plug it in and be able to execute that without having to send their phone out and pay somebody a thousand dollars just to update it a bunch of times. All right, if you have questions, join us on the repair wiki discord and you can comment below as well. And I will check back on this. I see all of those and I really hope that you guys get your precious memories out of your error 14 phones. I know it's been a terrible, devastating problem and it really stinks with the newer models. I, I, I know if we hear of anything else, I will make another video. I will continue to update you about error 14 as we go forward into the future, but I'm so excited to have started to see some successful recoveries. It's fantastic. All right. That's all I got on error 14.